Welcome to the Office of Readings for May 14th, Sunday in the sixth week of Easter. So today is Sunday. Today is a day we need to sanctify. It's one of the commandments of the Lord. But today is a special day because we celebrate our mothers. So to all you mothers out there, let me tell you, on behalf of your children, thank you. We love you. We appreciate everything you've done for us. We know of your sacrifices, and even though we sometimes we don't say anything, um, we always keep you on our, in our hearts. Every time we are sad, every time we feel alone, your memories comfort us. So thank you. Thank you so much. We love you. And um, let us pray for you today, for all you mothers. God. Come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. At the Lamb's high feast we sing, praise to our victorious King, who has washed us in the tide, flowing from his pierced tide. Praise we Him, whose love divine, Gives his sacred blood for wine, gives his body for the feast, Christ the victim, Christ the priest. Where the paschal blood is poured, death's dark angel sheds his sword, Israel's host triumphant go, through the wave that drowns the foe. Praise we now whose blood was shed, paschal victim, paschal bread, with eternity and love, it we manna from above. Mighty victim from the sky, hell's fierce powers beneath thee lie. Thou hast conquered in the fight, thou hast brought us life and light. Now no more can death appall, now no more the grave enthrall. Thou hast opened paradise, and in thee thy saints shall rise. Easter triumph, Easter joy, sin alone can this destroy. From sin's power do thou set free, souls newborn, O Lord, in thee. Hymns of glory and of praise, risen Lord, to Thee we raise. Holy Father, praise to Thee, with the Spirit ever be. Alleluia. The stone was rolled back from the entrance to the tomb. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, my soul. Lord God, how great You are, clothed in majesty and glory, wrapped in light as in a robe. You stretch out the heavens like a tent, Above the rains you build your dwelling. You make the clouds your chariot, and walk on the wings of the wind. You make the winds your messengers, and flashing fire your servants. You founded the earth on its base, to stand firm from age to age. You wrapped it with the ocean like a cloak. The waters stood higher than the mountains. At your threat they took to flight. At the voice of your thunder they fled. They rose over the mountains and flowed down. To the place which you had appointed. You set the limits they might not pass, lest they return to cover the earth. You make springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow in between the hills. They give drink to all the beasts of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. On their banks dwell the birds of heaven. From the branches they sing their song. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The stone was rolled back from the entrance to the tomb. Alleluia. Alleluia. Woman, who is it you are looking for? Why do you seek the living among the dead? Alleluia. From your dwelling you water the hills. Earth drinks its fill of your gift. You make the grass grow for the cattle and the plants to serve man's needs, that he may bring forth bread from the earth, and wine to cheer man's heart, oil to make him glad, and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord drink their fill, the cedars he planted on Lebanon. There the birds build their nests, on the tree top the stork has her home. The goats find a home on the mountains, and rabbits hide in the rocks. You made the moon to mark the months, the sun knows the time for its setting. When you spread the darkness, it is night, and all the beasts of the forest creep out, creep forth. The young lions roar 
for their prey and ask their food from God. At the rising of the sun they steal away and go to rest in their tents. Man goes forth to his work, to labor till evening falls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, woman. Who is it you're looking for? Why did you seek the living among the dead? Alleluia. Alleluia. Do not weep, Mary. The Lord has risen from the dead. Alleluia. How many are your works, O Lord? In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your riches. There is the sea, vast and wide, with its moving swarms, fast counting. Living things great and small, the chips are moving there, and the monsters you made to play with. All of these looks, all of these look to you, to give them their food in due season. You give it, they gather it up. You open your hand, they have their fill. You hide your face, they are dismayed. You take back your spirit, they die, returning to the dust from which they came. You send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord last forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. He looks on the earth, and it trembles. The mountains send forth smoke at his touch. I will sing to the Lord all my life. Make music to my God while I live. May my thoughts be pleasing to him. I find my joy in the Lord. Let sinners vanish from the earth, and the wicked exist no more. Bless the Lord, my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, as you made springs in valleys to form streams between mountains, so you made living streams of grace flow from the apostles, that their teaching may bring salvation to all nations. May we have a practical knowledge of their doctrine, be obedient to their commands, obtain remission of sins through their prayers, and finally receive the reward of eternal happiness. Alleluia! Do not weep, Mary. The Lord has risen from the dead. Alleluia! My whole body rejoices. Alleluia! With all my strength, I will praise my God. Alleluia. This is what we proclaim to you, what was from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we have looked upon, and our hands have touched. We speak of the word of life. This life became visible. We have seen and bear witness to it, and we proclaim to you the eternal life that was present to the Father and became visible to us. What we have seen and heard we proclaim in turn to you, so that you may share life with us. This fellowship of ours is with the Father and with His Son, Jesus Christ. Indeed, our purpose in writing you this is that our joy may be complete. Here, then, is the message we have heard from him and announced to you, that God is light. In him there is no darkness. If we say we have fellowship with him while continuing to walk in darkness, we are liars and do not act in truth. But if we walk in light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of his son Jesus cleanses us from all sin. If we say we are free of the guilt of sin, we deceive ourselves. The truth is not to be found in us. But if we acknowledge our sins, he who is just can be trusted to forgive our sins and cleanse us from every wrong. If we say we have never sinned, we make him a liar, and his words find no place in us. This life was made visible. We have seen it, and we proclaim to you the eternal life which was with the Father and has appeared to us. Alleluia. 
we know that the Son of God has come and given us understanding, that we might know the true God, for we are in His Son, Jesus Christ. He is the true God and eternal life, which was with the Father and has appeared to us. Alleluia. Reading by St. Cyril of Alexandria, Bishop. Those who have a sure hope, guaranteed by the Spirit, that they will rise again, lay hold of what lies in the future as though it were already present. They say, outward appearances will no longer be our standard in judging other men. Our lives are all controlled by the Spirit now, and, and are not confined to the physical world that is subject to corruption. The light of the only begotten has shone on us, and we have been transformed into the world, the source of all life. While sin was still our master, the bonds of death had a firm hold on us. But now that the righteousness of Christ has found a place in our hearts, we have freed ourselves from our former condition of corruptibility. This means that none of us lives in the flesh anymore at least not in so far as living in the flesh means being subject to the weaknesses of the flesh, which include corruptibility. Once we thought of Christ as being in the flesh, but we do not do so any longer, says St. Paul. By this he meant that the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. He suffered death in the flesh in order to give all men life. It was in this flesh that we, that we knew him before, but we do so no longer. Even though he remains in the flesh, since he came to life again on the third day and is now with his Father in heaven, we know that he has passed beyond the life of the flesh. For having died once, he will never die again. Death has no power over him anymore. His death was a death to sin, which he died once and for all. His life is life with God. Since Christ has in this way become the source of life for us, we who follow in his footsteps must not think of ourselves as living in the flesh any longer, but as having passed beyond it. St. Paul's saying is absolutely true, that when anyone is in Christ, he becomes a completely different person. His soul life is over and a new life has begun. We have been justified by our faith in Christ, and the power of the curse has been broken. Christ's coming to life again for our sake has put an end to the sover sovereignty of death. We have come to know the true God and to worship Him in spirit and truth, through the Son, or Mediator, who sends down upon the world the Father's blessings. And so St. Paul shows deep inside when he says, This is all God's doing. It is He who has reconciled us to Himself through Christ. For the mystery of the Incarnation and the renewal it accomplished could not have taken place without the Father's will. Through Christ we have gained access to the Father. For as Christ Himself says, no one comes to the Father except through Him. This is all God's doing, then. It is He who has reconciled us to Himself through Christ and who has given us the ministry of reconciliation. We rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained our reconciliation. Alleluia! It pleased God that all perfection should dwell in Christ, and through Him God chose to reconcile all things to Himself, through whom we have gained our reconciliation. Alleluia! You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the eternal Father, all creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world the Holy Church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded. Your true and only Son, worthy of all worship and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. 
when you became man to set us free, you did not spurn the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Keep us today, Lord, from all sin. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we have put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we relieve in remembrance we may always hold to in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord and give him thanks. Alleluia. So, thank you all for reading and praying with me today. I hope you have a great Sunday. Hopefully you will be able to make it to Mass and to pray for our mothers. Um, you are welcome to join us in the morning prayer and in the night prayer for today. Also, if you want, you can subscribe to our channel and like and share our videos. That would help us a lot. And may the Lord bless you all. Thanks again, you mothers. Bye-bye.